Today I am going to show you a demo of creating an item inside core using C Sharp code. This is Harish Kumar from SK Tech YouTube channel. Please subscribe the channel, then only what are the new video I am posting will reach you automatically. Let us into the topic. So creating an item uh, using C Sharp. So programmatically we can create the item uh, inside code. See, using the, we need to create a template. Using the template we can create the item and we can uh, update the field values in that item. Okay. Uh, using PowerShell also we can do the same activity. Okay. Um, let us into the demo. I'm, I'm going to show you a quick demo of creating an item and updating a value. Let us into the demo. Today I am going to show you a demo how to create an item programmatically. There are two ways you can create an item in Sitecode. Uh, the, sorry, three ways. Uh, programmatically you can use uh, PowerShell script as well and uh, using C-Shop code from MBG also you can create an item or manually also you can create item. So I am going to show you a demo how to create an item using uh, C-Shop code. Okay. So for that I created a new folder that is called a new, new item. Okay, so in this item, the all uh, that particular uh, item will be created. So I am using this template that is um, okay. the site code template user defined test new template. Okay, using this template, I am going to create an item in this folder. Currently, the folder is empty. Okay. Let me go to the code. This is my code. Okay, so I am calling this code in the action method that is. Uh, I'm index uh, create item. So create items nothing but this is the code. So here what I'm doing is um, first I'm getting the database, master database. From the master database, I'm getting the item, which item I need to create a uh, which template I need to create a created as item. So I'm getting this user defined test new temp, which I shown earlier. Okay, so using the parent item, I'm getting the destination item, which item I need to create a the that item so that is parent items okay using random generation okay for just uh, whenever uh, I, I run repeatedly it should not throw error right so i'm getting a random number i'm assign that uh, as a name of a item okay name of new item plus that render in that render uh, number okay and now uh, i'm editing the item okay, using this method edit begin edit so here if you see so my, i am assigning the field values okay age or uh, email address robots everything okay uh, what this method will do is it will create an item and uh, update the value let me run and show you first i will run a day dry demo so i am running a dry dry, dry demo first so i'm just refreshing the page Page is refreshed. Let me go and check. Yeah, one item is created. Okay, this is the new item. This random number up under to this uh, name of the item and uh, name, uh, name and age, email address and uh, robots content as well. Okay. Let me show you uh, by debugging this. Um, okay, so I'm just attaching my debugger. debugger attached okay let me refresh the page now
the debugging breakpoint came so I'm giving I'm just debug that method okay this for a security purpose that is when we create an item for uh, for security purpose uh, we are using the new security model security display display uh, disabler because we need to disable the security option of creating item otherwise it will throw error that uh, you don't have rights to create an item this is very important while creating or updating or deleting item we need to use you need to disable the security model okay using this object um, i'm just uh, um, getting the mouse database content and then the template name and the parent item parent item that means uh, destination folders so it's random number let me show which random number it is random number is uh, sorry minute Two zero one zero six eight zero eight three two. So I'm creating the item in that random number. item created so I'm just editing that item everything is completed Okay, I'm running continue. Now it's perfectly refreshed. Let me see. Let me refresh here. The new item two zero one zero six eight zero eight three two created with the mentioned value. Okay, this is a simple demo of uh, creating an item inside code. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. This is Sadish Kumar signing off. Thank you guys. Good luck. Bye bye.